Hi, I'm Dr. John Neustadt, president and founder of NBI. Too many people are dying in this country of preventable diseases. And one of those is heart attacks. It's one of the major killers. It's a lifestyle disease in many respects because damage to the uh, blood vessels in the heart that create these cascade of events that ends up causing atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries is affected in large part by uh, the food we eat and can also be affected by environmental toxins and other factors. Unfortunately, the conventional approach to screening for risk for heart attacks is the cholesterol test, which is limited. People think that they are protected when they look at their cholesterol, when in reality, about half of the people who have heart attacks have normal cholesterol. It's a mistake everybody's making, but the, and the reason is because heart disease, like all chronic conditions, really comes down to, to multiple factors. And just looking at one number, cholesterol, for example, on a test, is missing even a more important underlying cause, and that is free radical damage or inflammation. Chronic inflammation is deadly in the body. It used to be thought that cholesterol was the cause of, of heart disease, but in reality what's happening is it's inflammation and free radical damage, damage to the cholesterol molecules that makes them unstable, allows them to then damage the wall of the arteries in the heart, the coronary arteries, which causes a cascade of events leading to atherosclerosis. So it's important when you're looking at a cholesterol test to not just get your cholesterol done, but make sure you're also getting two of the most important markers for inflammation and free radical damage to cholesterol tested. Those are high sensitivity CRP, called C-reactive protein. It's a non-specific inflammatory marker, meaning it just says there is inflammation somewhere in the body, and then we need to investigate where that, that is at, where, where the inflammation is coming from, and try and get rid of it. But a direct marker for free radical damage to cholesterol is what's called oxidized LDL, or ox LDL. There are hundreds of studies out there on oxidized LDL and its predictive value for atherosclerosis and heart attacks, uh, as well as a lot of research on CRP. So make sure when you're getting your blood work done to get the, the standard cholesterol screen done, but also make sure to add on high sensitivity CRP and oxidized LDL or ox LDL as well to get a more accurate and comprehensive picture of your risk and what's going on in your body so you can make better decisions and make those lifestyle changes and track changes over time with repeat testing. Now, you can ask that from, from your doctor or you can go direct to the MBI uh, website. We just launched a consumer medical testing where we provide the doctor's order to you and you can go and look at the advanced lipid panel uh, that I actually created. Uh, it's what I would order for, for my patients if I wanted a, a more uh, in-depth look of, of what's going on with their risk. And uh, you can also take a look at the blog, The Cholesterol Mistake Everyone Is Making. Uh, go over to mbihealth.com and read that blog. Take a look at the test. While you're over there, also look at, uh, if you want, want to get information like this directly into your inbox, health information and tips, sign up for the MBI newsletter. Because when you, knowledge is, itself is not power. It's getting knowledge and then acting on it. So once you understand what your, your true risks are, you can make better decisions to change the trajectory of your health. And in many cases, even reverse it. The research is very clear risks for heart disease are modifiable. They can be reversed. So get the information, understand what to test. And again, when you're over at mbihealth.com, sign up for the newsletter so you can keep getting tips and information like this directly into your inbox. Have a great day.